against all the evil that hell can conjure. All the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. signal locked in. The target is marked, but the signal will not hold for long. For it is he that they fear, not man, or his armies. They fear the mark of the beast. I know who it is. It's your boy Elroy, and you hear that? It's game time. Hey, I hope everybody is handling themselves in these uh, trying times we got going on right now. I know it's a lot, but it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. Remember that. Into the Mad Life Squad, man. I have not forgot about y'all. Look. Y'all know the motto, it's overtime, family time, game time, and right now it's a little game time as you heard the top pop. But, uh, you know, I came after the hype. Once it died down, everybody got their piece out. PS5, Xbox Series, what do you think? You know, I watched that, uh, I don't even know if you want to call it a presentation because it was horrible. I mean, every time dude talk, all I can hear was. Exactly. That's just how boring it was. He had no hype. He, he, I mean, he wasn't even trying to put the PlayStation out there. I mean, he was talking about the aspects, but he didn't have no enthusiasm behind it. I, I mean, it was an hour of wasted time, really, but uh, I don't know what else to say about it. But, um. I mean, in terms, if you look at the Xbox and you look at the PlayStation, Xbox looks like it's going to be the better console. If you look at the statistics on paper, I mean, everything they putting into it. Now, PlayStation did have where they stated it was going to be fast. At the rate, they was going to be trying to rewrite information to limit load times. Now, that was great. The 3D sound... Uh, I have to wait till that come out, you know, to, to get my feel on that. But uh, 
I'm saying though. I mean, I got it on the screen right here. Look, look. See? Take a minute to read it. But if you look at it, like I said on paper, Xbox look like it's better than the PlayStation 5. More teraflops, more compute power. I mean, like I said, the only thing really oh well, in the what? I mean, like I said, the only thing really the PlayStation 5 was the the NVMe the specialized SSD like I said for those read and the writes them fast low times but I mean who's gonna take advantage of that the only thing that's the well not the only thing but the only people will be is the developers in the first party titles Sony now they would take advantage of the full capabilities for the PlayStation 5 as they did for all the previous consoles but when you got developers that's going to be making games for both consoles are they going to do that no they probably all be the same you probably get your standard 60 at 4k because they're both capable of it but the full capabilities of both will only come out on you know on the first title parties but I mean, that's the only way. It's always been like that. You know, you, you got most developers when they create games for two systems, don't nothing really change much. Yeah, some visuals look better than the other, but, and you know, it all depends on the frame rate that, you know, at that time the console's capable of. But I mean, both of them gonna be capable of 4K at 60. So, I mean, only first title parties is gonna really take the advantage of the full capabilities of their consoles. I mean, it's like, where do you get excited? I mean, Xbox got the party going live. They got reviewers already testing prototypes. Well, PlayStation, they done nothing. What, what we got to look forward to? What we seen on the screen? Yeah, but as I stated, the computing power is more on an Xbox. It's like, come on, PlayStation, you thought you were gonna come better than that. 10.5, 10.6 teraflops compared to the 12 on an Xbox. Like I said, it's gonna be a good console. I know it is, but it's gonna also be your fanboys of which is better, which got the better graphics, the better frames, you know, just that, that, uh, make it jump out you. So, I, I don't know, I mean, I was kind of disappointed in the PlayStation, you know. You just gotta wait to see more what they are gonna show. But, other than that, it's like, most people gonna be, I'm buying the Xbox, you know. Yeah, the fast load time's gonna be good, but, that's it. But, I don't know. We just had to wait and see. PlayStation on their website are still aiming for the holiday 2020 launch. So, I mean, with that being said, that still gives you something to look forward to. I believe Xbox still shooting for the same thing, but it's like, I guess we had to wait. We got to see the final result. We got to see what first title party is coming out. Uh, what capabilities they're going to take advantage of on each. You know, they, they're going to try to make their they self look good. As they always do, especially at a launch, but it's like in the backwards compatibility, man, it's just disappointing because if you go and look at it, you didn't save like a whole array of games. It was like the 100 games, most played games, was going to be available at launch for the PlayStation 5. So it's like, I mean, we looking to go deep, you know, I want to play Resistance and Twisted Metal and you know, all them classic games that came out. Gran Turismo, I mean, they, Gran Turismo, that's something else in the zone. But the early Gran Turismo, they was dope. PlayStation, first PlayStation, PlayStation 2. Oh man, you couldn't beat it. But, it got, I mean, as you can see, I'm a PlayStation fan, boy, always have been. I mean, all my friends played on it, so that's why I always stayed on it. But, I might have to try my luck this time. But, hey, look. I got this game playing in the back. It's Doom. Doom Eternal. Great. If you don't have it, go get it. Very fast paced. The PC quality of it is great. And I'm talking about it'll help you practice on your flick shots and all that. But hey, from what little I play, it's wonderful. 
But uh, other than that, look, it's your boy Elroy. It's a mag life thing. Overtime, family time, game time. And for all my supporters, I appreciate it. And for the new supporters, I appreciate it. Look, I'm going to set up a schedule for when I'm on stream. And when I set it up, I'm going to put it out there. If y'all follow me on my social media, all the links will be in the description. Follow me on Twitch at the Immaculate One. That'll be in the description. When I get close to my mark, I want to have 75 followers on YouTube and I want 50 on Twitch. When I get close to that mark, I got something special for y'all. I want to give away for the support. I mean, just follow me. I got you. If you're a gamer, you appreciate it, and you, you won't be dissatisfied, man. I'm telling you, but you know who it is. It's your boy, Elroy. Follow me. Link's in the description. It's a mag life, man. And uh, let me not forget, we got this whole pandemic going on. The kids is home, you know. People being, getting the raw end of the deal. Jobs closing. Can't go to the park. They finna close barbershops, salons. I mean, everything. So we finna be in the house. So y'all enjoy this time with your family, which a lot of people don't get. Like myself, I'm still having to work. But I'm, I'm grateful for that. So I'm able to make sure my family is straight. But, you know, y'all take this time, love one another, chill out, you know, just with normal with a normal hectic life you don't get to do that so i mean take advantage of this time it's always good that can come out of any situation so i mean take advantage of it that's that's all i can say love your loved ones love your neighbors love your friends but like i said it's your boy elroy check me out follow me like subscribe comment spread the word spread the love it's a mag life and when I get those close to them numbers, hey, like I said, I got something for y'all. I appreciate the support. Hey, you know who it is. Get at me. Enjoy the rest of this gameplay. If you don't got Doom, go get Doom. You won't be disappointed. Hey, it's your boy Elroy signing off. Love y'all. Get at me.
Forgive me.